the news further afield now, somewhere beyond the orbit of Mars. Philae, a lander the size of a washing machine, is hurtling through space, riding on the back of a comet, its instruments active and transmitting. And the first images are here. First of its heart-stopping descent, this from about three kilometers up. Then, after landing, one of its feet visible in the frame against a gnarled, frozen surface. This stuff is older than the planets, the solar system's primordial clay. And today we've learned that Philae's landing, though, was a bit of a glancing blow. For more, the national science correspondent, Bob McDonald. Bob, what happened during this landing? Well, Peter, it was more of a bounce than a landing. Uh, Philae was supposed to land on the surface and hang on to it right away, but it didn't. Instead, it took a big bounce. And I have a graphic, Fred, roll the tape, of what the uh, comet looks like where they were planning to land and where they think they actually did. The landing spot there at the top was fairly flat. And when they came down there, uh, they hit. And it was supposed to, uh, with claws on its feet, dig into the surface and fire harpoons so that it could hang on. But that didn't happen, and instead it bounced up. And on this comet, Peter, the gravity is so low that the lander weighs almost nothing. In fact, if you were standing on this comet, you would weigh about the amount that the, the ink in your pen weighs. That's about how much you would weigh. So it went up almost a kilometer when it bounced, and then it came back down and bounced again. So it landed in an area that's very rough, and it got hung up on either a rock or a cliff. So it's on its side. It's got one of its legs sticking up, not even touching the ground, and it's in a shadow. And that's a problem because it's solar powered, and if it doesn't get sunlight, uh, it has a limited life. So the tension is a little high right now. This is fascinating stuff. Uh, quickly, what happens next? Can they solve the problem? Well, they're going to do as much science as they can in the position it's in. Unfortunately, they can't drill the surface and get a sample that they really wanted to do. And then they might try to move it. It doesn't have an engine, but it has parts that wiggle. So they might try to wiggle it a little bit and see if they can make it straighten itself out and uh, get on with the mission. We'll have to see over the next couple of days. All right. Bob, thanks very much. Bob McDonald in Vancouver tonight.